MOU Meleta Shida, Peter Madhuki, Deputy Secretary General Wiper, is still on the line with us, and you had a question for him? Which I asked. <laughs> Please ask again. No, what I was asking when a Deputy Secretary was this. We've had uh, Nyenza speak. We've had Raila the other day, which was yesterday, when he was saying that uh, he spoke with Kalonzo on the phone. Kalonzo is known to be quite vocal. And every time we've seen him in the media clarifying points, my question is, where is Kalonzo? Why has he not said anything? Why is he just allowing people to speak on his behalf? I'd really like to hear what you, what you have to say regarding, regarding that statement. Uh, uh, thank you very much. And uh, one thing we must uh, appreciate, of course, the members that uh, uh, were speaking in place in Machakos. Are some of the members, of course, who in their own right left to wipe and went uh, to associate themselves with the belief. And therefore, you must appreciate that for their survival in politics, they must mention the name of Kalonzo. Because that day, they will, we are not in that. We will combine politics and sports, we are nowhere. So they are feeling the heat. In fact, they are regretting why then they left to wipe to go into belief. So I do not want to take the comments about them saying seriously. What we are doing is that. Why should we want to subject uh, Kalonzo Musyoka into defensive politics every yeah. time defending that he cannot or is not, uh, he has not left? To be Kenyan to judge, and therefore what I'm saying as a member of WIFA is that the last time I checked and I can assure you is that WIFA is not a Christian. Oh, you're the guy? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, what you're saying, I think um, there's a network problem where you are, but that uh, has been Mashima Peter Madhuki, Deputy Secretary General Wiper, and uh, he was trying to answer your question. And just listening into that story that we had before you asked your question, everyone is talking about this MOU. Finally, as we wrap this conversation up, is that going to be an, an issue? Linda, in fact, that's the bone of contention. Because right now, I, and, I'm, and I'm hearing, and it doesn't make sense, Linda. I mean, look at it yourself. When you're saying that this committee to be disbanded, which had the goodwill of the principles, and then you're saying the principles must lock themselves somewhere and come, and come up, up with, with the presidential how will, how will that happen? Just the other day. And again, I take this to Kalonzo Musioka's doorstep. And Tangula uh, and, and our enough. good friend uh, Musalia. They have said we need to have a, a, a pre election agreement. All right? What is it going to be? Who will keep to the word that we agreed this way? You just told Raila what Kalonzo was saying, Kwanza, to do a nani and a pata nini na nini na nini. What did Raila say in Mombasa? He said, we first of all must kill the animal. It is then taboo. It is taboo to start, uh, you know, knowing what. You know what he's trying to tell you? We are not going with any pre-election pledges. You come in as you are, whether you want to or not. What Rayla is looking for is a running mate. For crying out loud. And that's why I agree with Johnson. What do you mean Johnson he's looking for a running mate? You're that's not what he's looking for. Oh, come on. Let's be serious. <laughs> Let's be Do you know, on a serious note, Dunstan, <laughs> how much How much do you think Rayla has invested? Because NASA, to an extent, 90%, and I'm sorry to say this, 90% is ODM. And an okay. extension of code. <laughs> Listen, we need to wrap this up. You, you, yeah. you, we can try playing politics Dance here, but that's you what's love the honor, at the end of the You have the honor of wrapping up this conversation? One, uh, one thing, Linda, I'm asking. Mm. Between Ray Laudinga and uh, Kalonzo Musioka, who is a lawyer, Kalonzo <laughs> is an accomplished senior lawyer. True. He knows very well that agreements are signed and deposited. Right. Why is he trying to tell Kenyans that he's suffering from select, selective amnesia? He forgot to file it. <laughs> so there is suspect in that. Number two, I have said very well mm. that Kalonzo is very strategic. Why? There is a party called CCM. Chama Cha. Uh, Machinani. Not Machinani. This is Mutua, Mutua party. Oh, Chap Chap. Chap Chap. Chap, -chap. Yes. Chap, -chap has become the option of Jubilee. True. In Mount Kenya region, True. In, in all those areas. Is Kalonzo trying to destroy Chap Chap? So that, are we likely to see Raila giving an indication, mm. body language, that they want to give Kalonzo the ticket for NASA? So that we see Mutua defecting to Wiper. Is that the direction they are going? So in my own view, I think that Kalonzo is not targeting anybody else. He's targeting his backyard. And he's targeting to destroy the option of the Jubilee people who have run
to mm. chap chap okay. and in that way he will rope in ngilu rope in uh, mutua rope in everybody at the end of the day after nominations are done Raila Odinga will be the candidate Kalonzo will be the running mate okay. people will have nowhere to run to. listen that's a very good place to end it Damson Omari Gabriel Muduma all of the pleasure speaking to you guys Thanks well, for us, us. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for speaking to us on News Center, helping us to understand what exactly is happening in NASA. And of course, a big thank you to Peter Maduki, Deputy Secretary General Wiper, for calling in and just um, uh, being part of this conversation. So, you're watching News Center.